right, welcome to the final Fragments of Silicon Reviews of the season. Uh, yes, indeed. Like, this Wednesday is the season finale, then we're off for a couple weeks, and then we're back. Like, anyway, four reviews up this week. Uh, the first of which is, this is the president. So, this is the president is a political thriller. You are the newly elected leader with a shady background. It is up to you to abuse the position of the most powerful man in the world to escape justice for past crimes, even if that pitches the country into utter chaos. Um, yeah, this is the president's is a story-driven management game. It is the year 2020. You are elected to be the president of the United States to escape justice for your past crimes as a shady multimillionaire businessman. You need to ratify the 28th Amendment, which would grant lifetime immunity to any president. Manage your official and unofficial staff like a real mafioso in order to deal with the old problems you had in the past, as well as the shiny new problems that come with the office. You'll battle your competitors, the establishment, the media, and even foreign leaders in this political thriller satire mix. The player's actions will inescapably lead to situations that escalate into absurd, terrifying, tragic, and even ridiculous situation. But the road to lifelong immunity is a full of pitfalls, and you'll need to remember to clean up the daily messes that arise. Some might even call these distractions presidential duties. So this is actually part of a series, and we've covered a game... In this series, this is the police too. Like, though, I will say, I suppose the only thing that they really have in common with each other is the light management, heavy narrative um, mix. Because the games play really, really fucking differently. Like, like, uh, this is the police too had a tactical component as you'd expect from you know managing cops this is you know since you're the president this is pure at the top like you're not really doing the dirty work you send minions to do that like that that's literally one of the major components of the management part you've got a bunch of staffers you select them to do various things, both scrupulous, non-scrupulous, and flat-out illegal. Like, one of the things I got to was, um, I had to kill somebody before they would expose a drunken secret or two, let's say. Like, and, yeah. So... This game is all that it purports to be on the bullet points here. It is a dark satire, political management sim. And, okay, I'll cut to the chase here. Um, I only got a few hours in here because, well, it's a fine game in and of itself. I really, really did not want to play this. Um after a few hours because um you know the world i'm like yeah weird it's how that works too out fucking soon. <laughs> yeah it, it's too fucking soon now i'm getting into pure su subjectivity here but i'm like look the trump administration went down just a year ago at time of recording and unlike some people, uh, I still remember all those four years and just the daily tire fire absurdity that we had to deal with day in, day out. And I remember a lot of lack of sleep or waking up first thing in the morning going, oh, God, what has gone down this day? And while well, I admit some of these, uh, some of the aspects of this game are really fucking ridiculous. Like the whole main goal, Amendment Twenty Eight, is just okay. 
Yeah, there's no way that this would happen. Right. Now, I, I will grant you that this is a game, and it's framing it as the nigh-impossible task. But it's like, you know, when you're, con- when you're too connected to actual politics, um, it will take you out because, like, some of the first executive orders were, are things I'm like, the president cannot declare a new tax. Only Congress can. But I'm like, that, that's probably something that only people who've taken civics will notice. Unfortunately, civics seems to be a dying art. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, like I said, now, it, this is just a really strange game to evaluate. I mean, granted, it, it was a strange game to have released, especially, like, in this time period, because, you know, the... Tw- you know, the 2020 election, and yes, there are some fucking parallels to real-world events, let's say, at least from what I saw. Nothing yeah, shocking, has... almost like this might have had basis on something. You think that, but here's the thing. It parallel, but goes into wildly divergent directions, like um, you're dealing with the last president's supporters, but instead of, you know... A fucking insurrection against Congress. They set off a fucking um, backpack bomb that kills fifteen people. Yeah. So apparently, uh, we're dealing with the IRA. Apparently, seems so. Like, like I said, it. it you know, you can sort, you can see parallels, but this isn't as closely. Um, focused in on real world politics as you might think, mm. which is actually good because you'd you lose know, your fucking mind after the first fifteen minutes. Well, yeah, like there's no pandemic um, dealings, at least as far as I saw. That could be a thing that arises, yeah. but you know, the pandemic was kind of um, a big part of twenty twenty to now. So, I can understand why they didn't want to put that into the game. Since it's not exactly the past, unfortunately. (laughs) You know, we're we're dealing with dipshits who are afraid of needles, among other things. (sighs) Uh, Anyway, like, the graphics are pretty, you know, basic, I guess, like, um, I, I'm not exactly sure how much they could have done with the, this whole premise. Like, so it gets the point across. The music was surprisingly good. Like, a lot of relaxing jazz. You know, that kind of thing. Probably the aspect of the game I enjoyed the most. <laughs> no. Anyway, um, the game clocks in at uh, fourteen ninety nine. Which is a really good price for this game if you're up to it. Now, I think that I think that's the key here. You kind of have to be in the mood for the dark satirization of very recent politics. Like we're recording this in, um, let's say, late January 2022. You know, yeah, and when it's you taking... shared the uh, description for this, I was a little bit like, hmm, I, this game hits a little bit close to home. Yeah, that that that's why I ultimately stopped playing. Because I'm like, you know what? This is too this is too fucking soon. Um I just don't feel like delivering the Fawn House mirror parody version of shit I just saw. <laughs> you know? Yes, it's not even like about the Trump years. It's about the immediate post, you know, technically speaking, speaking, the president that you'd be playing as is supposed to be a Biden analog, except no. Yeah. Like, except we, you know, we've got the Trump businessman analog here. Uh Uh-huh. You know, 
Also, apparently, they're big fans of Julius Caesar. Um, I'm not even joking, by the way. Like, um, a big reason why Julius Caesar wanted to stay in power for as long as possible is because he did a lot of illegal things, and the second he was out of power, he would have gone to... Uh, I hesitate to use the word jail because they didn't really have that in ancient Rome, but... Bad things would have happened to him. Um, probably house arrest, maybe execution. Like, um, jail was kind of a short term thing for a lot of human history. Don't really have time to get into that. Um, anyway, but yeah, um, this is the president is probably the best game that I have no appetite to play ever. <laughs> At least not in any. Um, current times. But yeah, uh, on an objective level, I you really do have to come from a for the political narrative because the management aspects are on the light side and are in service to the story. Yeah. Like, you're not actually worried about a more generalized... Um, you know, agenda. Like, you're not worried about passing infrastructure or, you know, you know uh, or if you're going in on a cancer virus, that's to get the popularity to, you know, get the amendment you want passed, uh, passed. That, you know, everything's kind of tied in that way. So, if you're looking for a more neutral, let's say, uh, simulator... Um, I think the democracy games would fit that bill better. But, um, anyway, uh, so any other questions, comments, or concerns over this is the precedent? Uh, I think I'm good. Yeah, that was most of it was just, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I feel comfortable playing this game at this point in history. Uh, I'm like... I understand that because that I'm the one who had to review it <laughs> anyway. So that'll about do it for this is the president. Be sure to tune in after the break as petty fan will be reviewing find the letter H. <laughs> 